Okay, now I've got my plaster of Paris in the right consistency, which is the pudding, and you can see I have it in this one cup. Then I'm gonna take my other Dixie cup that my children would have. I'd make sure that they put their initials at the bottom of the plastic cup. And what they're gonna do, once again, if you have a, a, a paper cup, you wanna make sure that it's either plastic coated on the inside or rub a little bit of oil on the inside of it. You're gonna take some molding clay, um, which we have some molding clay that's included in your kit. Or some, you can use Play-Doh, you can go to the Dollar Tree and buy some Play-Doh. And you're gonna take and put that Play-Doh or the modeling clay inside their paper cup where the water was at. You're gonna press the modeling clay down or the Play-Doh, whichever one you use, okay? Let the children select a fossil that they'd like to make an imprint of. And once again, Take a little bit of oil, or you can use Vaseline. Oil is the best. You can use baby oil, you can use vegetable oil, whatever you have. Put a little bit over um, where the side that they're gonna press down into their molding clay so it will come out clean. Then they're gonna take their fossil, and they're gonna take and press it down into their modeling clay. So like I said, that's once again, that's in the cup where the water was at. After they press their, their fossil down, they make a mold in there. And so let them take a look at it. If it looks pretty, if you can see good details, let them keep it. If not, they can take their finger, go back over the modeling clay, smooth it out, and they can try it again. Make sure that you have about a third of a cup of modeling clay or Play-Doh so they'll have a nice thick layer that they can press down into. And like I said, when you put that fossil down, make sure the oil side is down so it'll come up easy for them because with their little fingers in that cup, it may be hard. After they get a good imprint of what the fossil that they want to make, then you take your cup of plaster of Paris, you simply pour it down over that imprint and let it sit. Within 24 hours, it will be dry. Um, I would come in the next day take them outside because where they poured the plaster of Paris, there'll be some flaking about it. Take them outside, let them peel off their paper from their Dixie cup, and when they do, they will have created a cast of their fossil. Make sure though, before they pour the plaster of Paris in, they take the fossil out because we're not putting plaster of Paris on the fossil. We want them to just have just the imprint of the fossil. In the clay. So make sure you take the fossil out. The fossil doesn't stay in. It will not come off the plaster pairs. Um, another way that you can make fossils is you can just simply use honey. Um, plastic containers, you can put honey. We've got included some bugs um, in your decomposers. You can put honey in a vial and um, put the bug in there. And over time, it will crystallize and it'll look just like amber. So you can explain that there's a different way that, that fossils are formed. Another way that you can do it is you can go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's and you can go buy the lip gloss little plastic containers. They come in containers, they're relatively cheap. Put your little bug inside of there. Once again, you use honey. And as they get older, like I said, they will crystallize and they will look just like real amber. So that's one of the ways you can make fossils. There's another one. This is uh, one that I made. This is fairly recent. So I've got a couple of fossils in there, but it's a good thing the kids can see them, like the bugs, they can see it floating around in the honey and they can see how that, that amber, when it's got tree sap on it, perfectly preserves the insect or the bug that's stuck in it. And so that helps them realize the process. This in here, I actually have a real bug in here. It's not a plastic bug, it's a real bug. So my kids would get the magnifying lenses out and look at the bug all the time to see, look, to see if it changed or if a leg fell off. And they would see that nothing changed about that bug. So they would see the, the effect on that tree sap, that um, amber fossils. So that's how you can to make fossils in your classroom. Like I said, it's not really that mess, messy. You can do it inside, you can do it outside, but really every child needs to experience having that fossil.